Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, BSF Canada, and Syngenta Canada. I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. Today, uh, we're going to talk about emergence, mm. uneven emergence and variability. And who else to talk about that than Horst Bonner, OMAFRA's soybean specialist. Sir, how you doing? Excellent. Nice to see you. Awesome. Hey, I want to talk about this field. Now, we've got plants that are two grow stages mm. ahead of some of the emerging soybeans here. Right. And it almost looks like a replant, but it's not. Yeah, this is an interesting scenario. You know, we have a lot of fields this year, especially on clay soils where uh, the the stand is much thinner than we'd like. Now, of course, what we were hoping and thought would happen in a lot of cases is that rain on the 11th of June would all of a sudden fill those holes and get beautiful emergence because if that seed is sitting truly in dry soil, then it can sit there for a long time. And actually, Bernard, that's exactly what happened in this field. The seed was sitting in dry soil that is just emerging now right. and you look at these little seedlings beautiful this is going to be a full perfect stand and then you look at the bigger plants and you kind of go well how can that be well they had enough moisture that they emerged but here's the problem a lot of fields don't look like this because that initial seed got a little bit of moisture and then it actually rotted before it could come up and so that's when we get into that do you replant? Yeah. And a lot of guys did. Yeah, and what you didn't replant here, you've got, as I say, you've got plants at two different stages. Yes. What does that mean for management going forward with this field, Horst? Well, one of the beautiful things about soybeans compared to other crops like edible beans is that we don't get too excited about uh, differences in maturity. The general rule of thumb is that for each three days later, uh, in terms of emergence mm. or planting, right? If it's the same same kind of number of days from planting to emergence, there is a one week or one uh, day difference in the fall. In other words, it's a three to one ratio. Right. If they come up three weeks later, they'll only be one week later in maturity in the fall. And of course, you know, as soybeans go, we'll be able to harvest everything at the same time and they'll be just fine. Mm. Now they will be, one week later, of course, compared to what they could have been. But unlike edible beans where you can get into dockage and, you know, they're not, uh, they're, it's, it's a mess yeah. in the fall. We don't have that problem with soybeans. Yeah. Now, the one thing, of course, is you still have to keep the clean, keep the field clean. So you got to think about those weeds are often bigger. So you can't wait for the soybeans to get as big as we usually do. Right. You got to hit, hit the weeds pretty hard. Like you got to stage the herbicide more according to the weeds than the soybeans. Because you've got soybeans at two different stages here. Right. I want to ask about um, yield potential here. And because uh, right. some people would say, hey, let's replant this and I'm going to come in with uh, another 80,000 seeds uh, and, and right. try to build the population. But you say, you know, there's lots of yield in that first planting. And, uh, you know, that right. second replant doesn't bring a lot to the party when it comes to yield. Yes, and it's, it really depends on the soil type and, of course, how even that stand is. And that's where it gets a little bit academic in terms of saying, well, this field will be fine. It would be if the whole field was the same. Uh -huh. But often there's, of course, you know, in this scenario, you get the knolls that are worse and they might only have 20,000 plants and the rest of the field is at 110. What do you do, right? right. And certainly, as a general recommendation, 100,000 plants per acre, we would not reseed for sure. Now, here's the interesting po point to what you're getting at. There was some good research um, conducted where they planted in on top of a poor stand, right? With a 30 inch corn planter. And they say, well, how much of the yield comes from that second planting versus those already established, relatively mm -hmm. poor stand? Uh, how much comes from that first stand? And the answer is the vast majority of yield. You can see from this chart, it's actually amazing how little yield came from that replanting or that thickening 
But keep in mind, this is research. This is, you know, exactly the same kind of even part of the field. So that's why I don't actually talk that much about this research because I'm not comfortable with a real thin stand, especially in parts of the field where it's terrible. And so uh, if, if, if we got to go in there and thicken that stand, then get her done. Yeah. I, I would say right till the end of June, no problem. Get in there and fill yeah. her up. Do some stitching. So it's a yeah, yeah, stitching, guys sure, yeah. I want, I want to talk finally about yield. And that is, um, you know, the situations that we have. A, a field like this, we have replants going on in the last week or two. Um, it's getting late June. Yes. Question for you. How much yield potential do we have left when we're planting this late? You know, what can end up in the bin right. come October? Oh, absolutely, right? I mean... As we all know, August is what really matters for soybeans. Have we lost some potential as we get into June? No question. I mean, you know, we've done planting date trials forever now. And yeah, it's, it's five to eight bushels less potential. But that does not mean you can't get 55 or 60 bushels. It's just, it just means it may have been 68 bushels had it been planted earlier. But it's impossible to predict yield today. So... Certainly, we are not ready to say that it's not going to be a good crop, you know. It could still be a terrific crop, even planted the very last day of June, believe it or not. Awesome stuff. So, great to have you on the Soybean Schools. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we'll see what comes of it. Absolutely. That's the joy of farming. Yeah, very good.